everyone, my name is Danberg and today we are taking a look at the new stuff that has just uh, been released in the Apple Store. Um, things that have been revised and introduced to it. For instance, uh, the new MacBooks and MacBook Pros. Uh, the MacBook, the, the white plastic MacBook is now uh, powerful, more powerful, um, running at 2.26 gigahertz with a 250 gigabyte hard drive. Uh, still has the 2 gigabyte DDR3 uh, RAM and has a, an 8 times double layer super drive which is really interesting when you want to burn movies, right? Uh, it has the same graphics as with uh, most of the other Apple computers uh, the NVIDIA GeForce 9400M uh, 9, graphics uh, the battery uh, lasts for 7 hours and uh, the, that, that's the plastic white uh, 13 inch MacBook costs 999 bucks in the US which is quite expensive uh, but it's as low as 23 bucks a month that's doable um, and then the new MacBooks um, they also have a unibody enclosure as we all know um, just uh, 1.08 inches thin and weighing only 4.7 uh, pounds uh, the MacBook features a sleek and durable unibody enclosure that slips easily into your bag or backpack. Now the interesting thing about the new MacBook and MacBook Pros and about the iMacs that we're going to talk about in, in, in a few minutes is that they all now have LED LED backlit displays instead of the actual LCD displays that you had on computers before. Now they actually have LED backlit displays which means uh, that it's uh, using way less power which means smaller batteries and bigger battery life there you go that's really sweet uh, the glass multi-touch trackpad isn't new uh, it's there uh, when you buy all the stuff it's still Mac OS, Mac OS 10 Snow Leopard plus iLife 09 nothing changed with that okay let's take a look at the other changes that have been occurring in the Apple Store so we just uh, talked about the MacBook Pro and the MacBook uh, just a little bit. The MacBook Pro actually didn't have real changes. Um, the MacBook Pro is just going to be the same, okay? The Mac Mini though has had a huge change. Um, it is now way more powerful um, and also it is cheaper now. Um, in some countries on, uh, in the world and in other countries it either uh, stays the same or the price gets higher. It's, it's, it's really weird. We'll explain that later if we'll explain it later. Okay, so the Mac Mini, uh, big on speed and big on memory. Uh, it now has a faster processor up to 2.66 gigahertz, uh, dual core of course, and twice as much memory up to 4 gigs. The new Mac Mini is more powerful than ever. Okay. Um, Let's see here. Uh, and now they also. This is really interesting. Now they're also going to sell uh, the Mac Mini with Snow Leopard server installed on it. So this is kind of something that you can put in uh, in a little closet of yours, and uh, where you can set up file sharing, instant messaging, your address book, mail, calendar, and internet sharing. Um, all of this little machine. It's really interesting. It's it's just it's it's just the normal Mac Mini without the super drive. Um, and uh, it's it's easy to set up, it's easy to run, and it's even easy to afford. It's only uh, 99 bucks. That's all. Uh, am I saying that right? I hope so. Um, let's check the because I w I'm switching between the Dutch and the English websites right now. Um, I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, it's a bit hectic here. Let's check that for you. Uh, I'm now on the English site. Yeah, indeed, 999 bucks uh, for the server version. Uh, it's really sweet. It's really, really, really sweet. So um, it's more powerful, as already said. Uh, the server version comes with two 500 gigabytes uh, gig uh, of storage, so two times uh, t two 500 gigabyte hard drives. So that means one terabyte of space available to you in that nice little server Mac Mini of yours. Um, you can also, of course, buy an external super drive, the same as uh, that comes with the um, uh, MacBook Air, not not standard, of course. 
Um, it's space efficient because of you know it's really small dimensions and it's really efficient with in energy too. Uh, it has basically the same ports on the back. Uh, one, two, three, four, five USB 2.0 ports. Uh, one mini display port, one mini DVI port, uh, one FireWire 800 port, uh, a gigabyte Ethernet port, a power um, connector, and a power button. Also, of course, the Ken Ken Kensington lock slot and an audio in and audio out slot. So it's also usable uh, as a radio station uh, server in combination with um, radio streaming software like Broadway from NCH Software. Um, you can also uh, RAID your Mac Mini uh, with a uh, Synolabs server to the Smart Store NS4600. That's really interesting. So you can actually put more hard drives next to it and you're really making a server of it. That is so freaking sweet. Okay. So there you go. That's a little rollout of all the stuff that has been happening in the, uh, in the Apple Store. I can go back here a bit and uh, see what else has changed. <coughs> Uh, of course, the biggest change of all is the iMac. Guys, have you seen the iMac? The iMac is now so freaking big. It's widescreen, all right? 21.5 inch, 27 inch, and a quad core 27 inch. There you go, guys. Uh, the quad core iMac of 27 inch with a 2.66 gigahertz quad core. Uh, Intel Core i5 processor. The resolution is a whopping 2560 by 1440, 4 gigs of memory, 1 terabyte hard drive, 8 times double layer super drive, and of course the ATI Radeon HD 4850 graphics with 512 megabytes of uh, onboard memory. There you go. It ships in November. It's not shipping yet. Um, but the other three versions, the 21.5 inch uh, and the 27 inch models uh, are already shipping now and uh, they can be in your home uh, between one and three business days. There you go. Um, it's really interesting. Uh, the iMac now also has the big LED backlit displays um, uh, and they also have a new type of mouse called the Magic Mouse. And as far as I can see it has a different look here. Uh, let's see if we can we can access that. Um, Let's see if we can get to the Magic Mouse. Uh, we've had we we heard a bit about the Magic Mouse, uh, and there you go, uh, the world's first multi-touch mouse. It looks really different, uh, kind of weird actually. Uh, we'll we'll go and take a look at that uh, when the days um, you know get further and further, and we'll get more to know about that. Um, wow, this looks really good. There is no scroll ball, there's no clunky wheel, no cord, and no visible buttons. Okay. Uh, it uses multi-touch technology to let you control everything with simple gestures. Give them a try and you'll find that Magic Mouse changes the way you interact with your computer. Built-in software lets you configure mag Magic Mouse any way you want. It's smooth, seamless design is ambidextrous, and it supports two-button clicking without any buttons, like Magic. And that's why it's called the Wireless Magic Mouse, because it works with Bluetooth technology. Um, and uh, we'll also sh show you some pictures um, of how you can use the mouse. Oh, this is so freaking cool. This is this is amazing. This is really amazing. Um, okay, well, that's all That's all for now. There's a lot of news around here. Um, thanks, everyone, a lot for watching. And uh, we hope you stick around for more information about all the new stuff that has come out on the Apple Store. And also go and take a look at your, well, for yourself, over at store.apple.com. I repeat, store.apple.com. Everyone, thanks for watching and see you later. Bye bye, everyone.